Hello, everybody. And welcome. Uh, this is Angels of Death, episode Eddie. Uh, we played the first Angels of Death game on stream, and we really enjoyed it. And it got its own anime, which was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I'm Dave Tasic. I'll be playing the game. Um, and we have Blair. Hi. And Mr. Amazing VA is also here. Oh. <laughs> Let me know. Oh, if... oh yeah, yeah, boy, yeah, uh, hi, yeah, it's hi. <laughs> if the mics need raising or lowering, or if the game's too loud or too quiet. I'll actually turn the game up one more little pixel. Okay. So, wait, did this. Did the game become an anime, or did the voices you do go into an anime? Um, okay. It was pretty good. I liked it. It stayed pretty yeah. true to the, the original game. But yeah, we're just going to be reading the voice acting characters in the game, just cycling them around. Mm -hmm. Actually, wait, how long is this game? I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> we're going it, into um, this line. Yeah. Pretty blind, besides... You might have to do a couple parts, but it's okay. We're not here for all of them. New game. I am really excited about this. Because I am a huge fan of Angels of Death. So, arrow keys. Uh, Z. And... Mm -hmm. There is one thing I'm quite curious about. In the um, original game... You don't see Eddie's face, but in the anime you do for, like, a second. That's true. So I'm wondering if, uh, in this part, you see Eddie's face, and I'm, like, also wondering if it's gonna be the same as the face you see in the anime or not. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to voice Eddie Blair? <laughs> uh, you can't... Okay, never mind. He's a baby. I love him. Do, do you want to voice him? Um. Oh. No, I'm I'm eating, so I'll pass on the first character. <laughs> okay. You go for it then, Mr. Amazing. I got. I, no, wait, David. He looks like he has a deep voice. You should do it. How? He's a child. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> For this grave, I'm thinking. <laughs> One, two, go my shoe. Oh, that's a uh? different character. God dang it, David. <laughs> what? Do I still voice him the same? I don't know. I'll do this I, one. Uh, Three, four, no, knock no. on the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, a big fat hen. Guys, come on. You always mess around. Hey, come on. Eleven, twelve, dig a big grave. <laughs> Oh, look at They're all children. There's so many characters, Blair. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, Eddie, you still at it? There's Hide and seek! Play uh, with us, bro! There you go. Oh. <laughs> you that's, good? That's you, Mr. Amazing. He He's dropping. No! We lost him. No. My my lolly voice killed him. Should I just continue? For now, I guess. Yes, yeah, thank you again, Lauren. You are amazing. What? No, I can't mess around. I have a grave to think about. A grave. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
hopefully Mr. Amazing gets back. Yeah. Okay, that, the stream crashed really hard. Uh-oh. I'm gonna try to watch it again. Okay, there we go. Also, you, we got we got a donation from... Yes. Lauren. Lauren. She is very epic. Okay. We already tended to the graves for the night, though. I still got stuff to do. I'm thinking really hard about what kind of grave... What kind of grave would be the best? I said that... Oh, dang it, I'm already sucking. <laughs> <laughs> you always take forever when it comes to the grave stuff. A new grave? How will you make it? Tell me, show me! Well, that's the problem. I'm thinking about what kind of person is going into the grave. Into this grave. I forgot to ask Dad. And he's off... And he's off buying new stone for the graves, so I can't ask him now. Hey, like, really, who cares? I care! <laughs> hey, Albert, do you know? Do you know who's going... Do you know who's going in this grave? Burr. Hey, Eddie? Albert? Hey. 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 Uh, shut up! How the hell should I know? Is you? Oh. <laughs> uh, the face wasn't near it, I didn't know. See? That's that's what you get for being Mr. Serious. Your eyes always get bloodshot when you're thinking about graves, and you get so... Hey, don't worry about it. Albert's just in a bit of a... Heard a bit about this grave's owner, so I can tell you a bit about her. Really? Thanks, Carl. I'm Carl. I want to hear too. I want to see too. Loading. Oh, oh saving time. <laughs> Do you want to save? No, I don't. <laughs> uh, that's. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like. Girl, still real small. Probably about George's age, I'd guess. Ah, uh, ah, uh, so she died really young, huh? Stream. Oh my god. Give me, give me a second. Is it. Oh. <laughs> he left. Yeah. I hope. Uh, Is the, the stream, stream look okay out. on your end? Yeah, it's fine for me. I think he might be on his phone. Oh. How's it going? Uh, it's just Discord. It's just being... Okay. Okay. Hmm. A cute little girl. The grave space... Base has gotta be... Um, should it be tall and thin? Small and round? Or huge and rough? Small and round. Alright. Like her! A small, cute little gravestone to... Gravestone to be the best! Hey, how'd this girl die anyway? They found her in the forest. Her corpse, that is. They think she probably fell off some cliff. Someone saw her go into the forest. She was chasing after something, apparently. Chasing after something? She really loved cute things, that girl. So, she was... Probably after an animal. 
school. Our family loves animals too. We've got so many pets. I wonder if she caught up to it. I mean, it would be kind of sad if she hadn't. Ding. I know. Decoration, is that what it is? Yes. Okay. I know a decoration. Forest animal one. So she can always play with it. Unicorn or a wolf? <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know. Unicorn? I mean, they're majestic. Chat's saying unicorn looks cute. But that's not. Fine, those aren't go real. David, shut up. <gasps> I'd go with a wolf. Well. <laughs> it is what it is. They say little girls believe in unicorns, right? I bet she'd love to see one herself. So, tell me, what else... What else... Uh, what else did this girl like, besides animals? Uh, no, I'm sorry. She liked? Huh. Well, it's not like I knew her. Uh, but... She was always wearing dresses with various patterns. The day she died, she left the house in a dress with a sh with a red heart pattern. She was banged up so and banged up and so bloody. Ugh. They thought she was wearing a plain dress. I see, but her. Burial dress is so... is plain, too. Doesn't sound like... Doesn't sound like she'd like that. This boy obsessed with graves and burying people. I know! I'll put a pattern on her grave. Stars, tomatoes, or flowers. Let's go with flowers. Flowers, flowers are beautiful. Why tomatoes? I don't know! Tomatoes... <laughs> tomato is like a good vegetable. Eddie, Eddie. No, a fruit. A good fruit. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. Come on. Really? Come on. Like, you can't think, oh. Huh? You mean it's too obvious? Never gonna get girls like that. Oh. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> the. That's not what I care about. Fine, fine. We'll go with another one. That's it. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. I know. Or stars. I'll put a pattern on her grave. <laughs> tomatoes. Let's just go with tomatoes. Yay! Since Eddie, Carl wants to be a, a prick. What? Eddie, <laughs> you Stop serious? Stop being so picky. What's wrong with tomatoes? They're really cute. Well, yeah, but it's a bit, you know, too much on the nose. What do you mean by that? <laughs> They're round, shiny, they turn bright red under sunlight. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> oh, that actually makes... Oh, that actually is a good choice when you put it like that. Is my mic cutting out sometimes? I don't hear it, but... Okay. I don't hear it. It could just be the stream. <laughs> you know, hearing you say that, I'm starting to get on board. Yeah, that's right. Whoa, what the heck? Nice, we made a grave. <laughs> that's you, Blair. We did it. I think. Whoa, awesome. I was watching. There. The, the grave's a bit unique. I hope the girls like how special it is. <laughs> well, looks fine to me, I guess. Man, you are really good at this. <laughs> huh. Oh, wow, who dat? Daddy. I'm not saying it. <laughs> uh, 
got this, David. You got the deepest voice. Sorry to keep you kids waiting. Take a look. A good stone, huh? They really are. They'll make great gravestones. Eddie, you can tell. Your dad's eye for quality really came through, I'll tell you. Here. You need to learn how to tell your prime stone from your plain... Especially you. You're the eldest. We need you to be making all the right calls. Mr. Amazing dropped again. <laughs> they look all the same to me. Oh, it's about time to get home. Don't want your mother yelling at us. Come on, we're heading back. Wow, look at this. You make this, Albert? I provided a word or two of advice, too. I see. From the dead's point of view when you work. I'm real proud of you. Are you okay. winning, son? <laughs> what we gravekeepers do is think of people's lives and deaths. And we wear pumpkins on our heads. <laughs> 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 Looks like Eddie's getting all the praise yet again. Look at me dancing. If only your brother took a page out of your diligent book, I tell you. <laughs> oh. Well, it's getting... It's, it's too late out for you kids. Your mom's waiting for going home. Whenever I take a bite of food, this kid talks. <laughs> <laughs> there are, you get lines, Blair. My goodness. <laughs> mommy, I want to see Mommy. Let's go. All right. We're tidying up before we go. Tidying up? Come on. I'm exhausted. You didn't do anything. Tidying up's for pussies. Hey, Albert. Oh, wow. Oh, he ran off. I didn't even see didn't put so much as a tool away. And I thought he was doing sort of well today, too. He's acting kind of weird again, so I'll, I'll catch up to him. Hey! Good grief, those boys. <laughs> I made Mr. Amazing drop out the call. Oh no. I'm telling you, it's the power of the lolly. Oh boy. Knew George was too young to come to the graveyard at night. Dad, you can go on ahead with George. I'll tidy up around here. I'm a little worried about Albert and Carl, too. Pretty? I'll be fine. I'm a gravekeeper's son. I love the graveyard. Hmm. Right, right. Oh, well... Oh, oh, oh. Come on, George. We're going home to see Mommy. <gasps> ah, thank you! <laughs> Thanks, Eddie. No problem. <laughs> your brothers really need a page or two no from your problem. book. No problem. Especially Albert. He's the oldest. He's the... No. no. The oldest always inherits the graveyard. Tradition. But Albert is being a bitch. Yeah. Tradition. <laughs> well, thanks. I'm counting on you. Sure thing. 
I want the graveyard. <laughs> Too bad, it's my graveyard. <laughs> Still really hurts where Elber punched me. Yes. Wait, he punched me? What? Oh, anything. Welp, gotta bring this pick and shovel back to the shed. Any gravekeeper worth his salt takes care of his tools. <laughs> oh, like I'm Eddie. <laughs> Alright. Got a shovel. You got the shovel. Got you got the pickaxe. All right. Now time to play some Minecraft. We're in the game. <coughs> a small round tomato <laughs> pattern gravestone with a unicorn horn. Nice! You How did I make this so quick is the question. Am I just superly magical? Maybe. Alright, where are we going? this area for some reason, but... Uh, uh, I think we gotta go... This way? Yeah, that way. Because might... the other way was home. I mean, maybe it's near home. The shed is near home. Or, well... Oh. Yeah, I, yeah, the shed's probably back near home. That's... Oh, wait, no! Oh, okay. Stumping all around. I, I would going assume... to the shed. You know what? It wouldn't have taken more than, like, five minutes to put all that stuff, and they could have, like, you know, spent the five minutes <laughs> right, that's instead you. of leaving me all the way here. Phew! That about does it. Light bulb! Hmm. And since I'm alone, I'll stop by there before I go home. Hmm? Huh? grave. It's only been a few days since I made it. I've got to check to see if the flowers are wilted. Oh. Whoa! That's a... Oh. That was just birds. Ugh, give me a scare there. Such a beautiful song, though. Just like our little bird. Oh. Whoa! No. Whoa! Was that a spooky ghost? No, David, you're just seeing things. Was that... Was that actually... I come to the graveyard at night a lot. I'm really not used to how spooky it is. It didn't even scare me, but... I've never seen a ghost so up close before. Oh. And I think that, and I think it was a ghost of a girl. It looked like one. Maybe it was the girl you buried. Maybe. Or maybe I was just imagining it. That's also possible. <gasps> Dad! Wait, who's this? I can't I tell, they look the same! It's either Carl or Dad. I think it's Dad, though. Hey, Eddie, what the hell are you doing? That's Carl. It's Carl! Oh, it's Carl! Carl! Uh, Carl? Uh, what's wrong? Dad told me to come out and get you. You okay? Yeah, I said the line. I didn't hear it. <laughs> How come? What happened with Albert? This is the other one. He just went right home and locked himself in his room. Hell, we're lucky all he's, all he's doing is hidden stuff instead of our faces or you. Yeah, he's always been really sensitive, but he's been pretty bad lately. Hey, man. You alright? Like, Albert's been pretty rough on you recently, hasn't he? Uh, 
I'm I'm fine. It's no big deal, really. I mean, I'm sure Albert has a lot going on himself. Yeah. Well, here's hoping Albert will cheer up soon. Anyway, we're going home. Yeah. He couldn't go visit the grave. I mean, I kind of did. Uh. What ghostly girl? Oh, that ghostly girl. What was that all about? I wonder... Will I get to see her again? Maybe. Hey, hurry up. We'll get yelled at. Wait up. I'll be right there. Scurry, scurry, scurry. Loading. <gasps> Mama. Mom. <laughs> Hello, Mama. You got a bow. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> Eddie, you were out so late, I was worried. I can't believe your father left you in the graveyard at this hour. I know you're a gravekeeper's son, but you can't do that to a kid. But I love graves, so I was totally fine. <sighs> I know you're very passionate about helping out, but... And not... Uh, and not even seeing a ghost will scare me. Eddie! Luckily, he speaks in my accent. Hmm. But today, near the shed, there was this girl in white. <gasps> Eddie, I don't want you getting out of sorts, too. Uh oh. Let's go inside. Take off your mask. Oh? Face reveal? <gasps> okay. <sighs> Face? Imagine he's got a beard and he wasn't a kid this whole time. No, he's a kid. <laughs> Game over. Mom was still pretty on edge. Wait, I still got it on. Oops. I kept my mask on all the way up to my room, even though my mom <laughs> told me not to. But, you know, I, I'll, <laughs> I like keeping this on, even inside. Yeah. How could I not? This is the Gravekeeper's uniform. <laughs> well, I'll just get yelled at. I'll just take it off. <laughs> nope, it's just not gonna show it, I swear to god. Damn it, it, it didn't look show like it. Him. He's a redhead. Phew. Do we get a close-up image? Edward Mason. Oh, God, yeah, Eddie. Yeah, yeah. It looks just like him in the anime. This is oh. great. What a cute. Oh, I forgot to take off my gloves too. He has hands. <gasps> Hand oh, reveal. I can at least <laughs> keep this part of the graveyard with me home. Oh, no hand reveal. But. Uh, my gloves look like they're about to tear. I wonder if I could get a new pair. Mom looked like she wasn't in the best mood, so... I think I'll ask my dad. Yeah! He complained... Oh, okay. oh yeah. Oh, damn it. I, oh, I'm messing up left and right. Okay. Yeah, he complimented me today, too. Yeah, he'll give me a new pair. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, you got, oh, you got a little light. Boy. It's a bed. Flowers. Tis bed. Why do I got so many papers and books? It's his studies. For my studies? What am I studying? Gravekeeping? <laughs> Look how a mess it is. Jesus. He loves graves. Ah, oh, it's his hallway. Is this, uh, purple? Who has the purple? I don't I'm know. Sure, I'm sure he'll say it's, it's probably Carl. Uh, 
Oh. Ah. Uh, why do we have an empty bird? Oh wait, no! Look, there's Brittany up there. What's up? Who is this? I don't know. I just just wing it. Uh. I think it might be Carl. Just being it's, honest. It's not Carl. Carl has blue suspenders. Wait, it's the other one. There were like a bunch of them. Albert. Is it Albert? No, that's not Albert. That can't be Albert. <laughs> okay, so. Is it the mom? Out of I don't age, know. Don't come down from the shelf. Is is it the mom? No, it's not the mom. I'm yeah, she's stuff. not moving. Let's just pretend like it's Carl. Hey, come down. <laughs> See, she won't give me so much as a hoot. A hoot and a holler. Oh. Tweet, tweet. Oh, oh, well. This is my second oldest brother's room. Carl. Wow, doesn't even... Doesn't even give them... Doesn't even say the names. This is my oldest brother's room. There are... There are holes he's punching the walls. Yep, yeah. that that's... Why awkward. isn't his name Kyle? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so our, our first quest. We got to get the owl down off the thing. There's no use. We tried. We have our first quest, boys. Bark, bark. <laughs> the tickles! They have so many animals. Oh. Jesus, we got... Good boy. Uh -huh. Okay, so that, that is Carl up there, because Albert's obviously in his room, and... The little sister's down here. I don't know. You sleeping? Come on, let's play! So they got... Dog... Whatever. Oh. <laughs> the cage. Wait. Cat! Who was that? Cat! Dog? There's fish? Dog. There's a lizard on the wall? Oh. Variety of books about graves and gravestones are here. A little bird. Tweet, tweet. Birdie. Another Birdie. cat on the table. Oh. Oh, cats do what they want. Hey, she's being really quiet. Is she tired from her walk today? Maybe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that's it. Okay, well, we, we need to complete one quest first. Oh. What? Yeah. Oh. Who's doing what? I heard mom and dad. Are they... Are they in the back? Mm -hmm. Oh, we got our main objective, boys! Should we go in there? Or go no, no, no. We gotta complete the side quest. We gotta complete it 100%. Go in that hallway. <laughs> in that hallway. <laughs> oh, look. Here's the masks. These are Alberts. My oldest brother. Petition to just call him Kyle. <laughs> He's the only one who always gets new stuff. These are Carl's, my second oldest brother's. They're still almost new. And there's mine. This is where I keep my stuff. <laughs> I use my gloves and tools the most. So that's why they get worn out pretty quickly. These are kind of small. Oh, these are kind of small ones are George's. This masks, this mask, these gloves. I took such good care of them when I, when they were mine. Tie me down. Oh my God, I'm still messing up. Okay, I was really attached to them. We gotta find bird seats or something in here. Hmm. There are tools here for making gravestone designs and placement graphs. Tools. There are tools here. Yay. There's a shelf. <laughs> Back up Backup tools are in here. There's you tools. can't get enough tools. And unused cages here. And unused. I mean, you could use the rat to lure the owl. <laughs> uh, do you want to try it? Dad's mask. 
We could smash Sora in the tools room. Yeah, we saw him. All right, fine. I guess we can't do the thing yet. I'm sure we can go back. Oh, mysterious. Bread for breakfast is here. It smells good. <coughs> Spices and alcohol are here. Nice. Hey, to see. <laughs> We're too young. <laughs> A large refrigerator is here. Eating utensils and such are here. I like how he keeps saying are here. Are here. Cooking tools are here. Everything is in the right place. Everything Everyone has a place. Okay. <clears throat> this is mom and dad. I just... I don't understand what's going on with Albert. Sorry, Kyle. <laughs> no more <laughs> so much. He's just... Yeah. Maybe it's just a rough age, you know? That's not what he's acting like. He locks himself in his room, lashes out at the drop of the hat, and all that screaming. He's been hurting the family pets lately, too. Oh. Right, so we have oh, to kill Kyle. No. He may be at a difficult age, but he just wasn't this kind of kid. Oh, come on now, don't... Kyle's our oldest son. Seems like Albert. Kyle. Kyle. <laughs> what if he just gets worse? What if he took his own life? What then? And this would be a very sad game. In this family, it's tradition that the eldest son takes over. If we keep a close eye on him, we can keep the cycle going. And don't worry. The younger boys have it together. They'll be fine. And Albert, well... He'll come around. His name is Kyle. <laughs> Brave keeper. Okay. Oh. I have to ask about the gloves. Okay. I, I oh, wanted wow. to We're leave. We're just going to intrude. I hmm. wanted to leave him alone. Eddie, how long have you been there? Uh, I just got here. What's wrong? Oh, mm, well, all right. Well, it's my gloves. They're about to tear apart. So, I was wondering if I could get a new pair. New gloves, huh? Well... You do help out around the most here. Really? Yeah. Just happened to have some Carl's gloves that he got that were too small for him. That he got too small for him. Yes. Huh? Carl's gloves are hand-me-downs from Albert, but... Those two are as lazy as can be. So the gloves were still in great shape. There we go. You can just have Carl's old ones. <laughs> In that case, I'd rather just keep on using my <laughs> own gloves. Aww. Oh, I'm spoiled. <laughs> Eddie, how about you let me mend your gloves oh, for you? A mama's boy, I see. <laughs> Shut up, Dad. <laughs> you don't understand me. Yeah. Could you, Mom? I certainly could. Oh, good Mom. Hmm? But these gloves are already too small for you, Eddie. I know. I'll mend them, so go ahead and give them to George. You should really take Carl's old gloves. That would be best. God dang it. Mm. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Well, I'll get the gloves from Carl, then. And I'll give these gloves to George later. No. Yeah, I'm pretty, yeah. <laughs> we can't skimp on pets and gravestones, and there's our traditions, too. I'm really proud of you, Eddie. Because you understand all of that. Uh, 
right? <laughs> huh? Oh, you disappeared. Yeah. Again. Hand me downs again. Oh, I've always com complimented and praising me. Oh, even though they're always complimenting and praising me. Maybe hmm. I could ask again? He wants new stuff. Maybe not. Sounds like they're t talking about Albert in the room. It's... It is kind of family tradition. No one around it. I'll get Carl's gloves. I'll get Carl's gloves from the tool room and go talk to him. Hmm. I want to listen. I can't listen. Sad. <laughs> uh, so let's go get Carl's gloves. Let's go get Carl's gloves. Carl's are real. Okay, Carl's are still really new looking. They'll be mine now. Mine will go to George, and then... Got gloves! Ah, the gloves! I'd better hang my mask up here properly. Bam! There we go. Now then, let me bring these gloves to Carl and ask him. Alright. You stay there, George. I'll be back. Hi, dog. Hey, come on. Not again. I'm busy. That dog. Uh, sorry for yelling. I love you. That's the fall family's got to take care of them. They're all treasures. <laughs> Lavar treasures. Might be a stinky house. Oh. I've got to hurry over to Carl. Yeah, he's up here. So it's purple Carl! suspenders, Carl. I told Carl. you it was Carl, David. I'm sorry, I thought he had blue. Hey, Carl. Dad told me to come get your gloves as handy downs. Yeah, yours are still pretty beat up. Sure, you can have them. <laughs> Minor hand-me-downs from Albert, though. Hmm. Still, we never do any work, so they're pretty untouched. Right. Thanks. I gotta wonder. Hmm? Albert's old stuff, but you take this really seriously. Doesn't getting hand-me-downs kind of piss you off? I do like Twitch. <laughs> Damn it! She just won't come down. Why'd she fly up there in the first place? Albert was throwing a fit in front of the room and knocked over the owl cage. Poor girl got away, but she's been so spooked since then, she won't budge. What? That's awful! Our pets belong to all of us! How could he threaten one? Someone sure is a nice guy. Gotta say I agree, but... When I think about how the house and how the house and all will end up, Albert's uh, kind of makes me a lot less eager to take care of all these pets. That's 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 not right. Mm -hmm. Pets belong to the family, not just one person. Eddie. Wah! <laughs> oh. Wait, no, that was George. It's, it's a child. <laughs> Hi, George. This is all I get for! Uh, what's wrong? George, what's the matter? What happened? <laughs> oh my god, they're dead! 
Oh God, David, you jinxed it. How could you? <laughs> no. This is David. How could you do that? I thought she was just asleep. And mommy and daddy came and said she was dead. Oh, she has been pretty weak lately. That rabbit. Eddie, think you can bury this one too? <laughs> You're asking me the right. All right. Uh, of course, I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. Right now, in fact. Not going to let you go out. <laughs> George isn't gonna stop crying until I do. <laughs> well, too. Uh, calm down. You'll just piss off Albert. Eddie, you get back to your room and. Oh, Jesus. All right. Mm, I don't want to go past that door. <laughs> uh, let me head back to my room. <laughs> step and step, step, step and step. step. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my humble abode. That rabbit. She was so delicate. Do they not have a name? Mm, brown rabbit. It's been really loud at home lately. So she must have been stressed. Yeah, rabbits do get stressed. They do get stressed. <gasps> Dad! No. Oh no, it's Albert! <laughs> Albert? Kyle! Her name's Kyle. Just now, you were talking bad about me again, weren't you? Huh? I... I wasn't... I... Me? Talking bad about you? Oh, you boom! Dick! <laughs> oh! I was just saying. I was just saying it was one to threaten the animals! That's. That's not talking bad about you! Shh. Didn't want any hand me downs. Uh, I. I bet you don't. Not you. The perfect little grape. You're always mocking me, aren't you? You think I can't do anything, don't you? No, I... I mean, I'm the oldest brother. But you can do everything better than me. And that's why you're always harping at me, isn't it? Because you know I can't do anything. I don't know anything. You're just mocking me. I'm so angry I will keep marching in this spot. Dad, Mom, you guys. Even our pets do nothing but talk bad about me. Don't even talk. But, but the animals wouldn't do something like that. Don't torment the pets like that! They belong to all of us! No, we ain't gonna lie. What? You never heard that everything in this house is gonna be mine? You ever think about how I feel? Having all this needy... But the pets belong to all of us. Not just one person's. That's so. Then, shut up and take their punishment. Oh, stop being my bitch. Ooh. <laughs> For a while, every time Albert lost it, he would come and beat me up. Oh, no. The family, none of them knew. Oh, no! Albert, the eldest, the herd. The air. It's always on the brink as it was. It's okay, the, I'm sorry. The air, I know. The air. If, if the family found out, I knew he'd only get worse. And when he was beating me up, he left. He left the rest of the family and the pets alone. So, it it just dawned on me. Nothing else could be done. That was that. <sighs> Poor
Poor Eddie. Still hurts where Albert kicked me. But if you won't hurt the animals, then I can just grit my teeth. He's the eldest, so he must be really stressed. Uh. Don't understand how he feels at all, but how could he hate the idea of our pets becoming his? I can hear you. <laughs> You're only one room away. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> no, I'm going to bury the rabbit right now. I want to make it all... I want to make all their graves myself. Because unlike Albert, I love the little guys. Hmm. And if I'm the only one to bury them, I'm sure they'll be... Yeah. Yeah, let me go get ready and then I'll take her to the graveyard. Oh, I gotta be sneaky. There, there goes Albert again. Uh, I can't hear it. I know. He's just gonna get worse. Probably won't get better either. Albert, he's just not normal anymore. I love working in the graveyard so much more than he does, and yet. Yeah, I'm not gonna interact with things. I don't want to make any noise. Animals! <laughs> Gotta get my uniform. <laughs> Gotta go get my mask. I've gotta put on my mask when I'm done. When I'm doing work, grave work. Why? Why do I have to do that? It's a grave why should I do that? Uniform. Yeah, but why do gravekeepers wear masks? No. <laughs> All right, here we go. I've gotta get my shovel too. It's probably in the shed. No, he's got it. But. All of these are just hand-me-downs for my brothers. And they'll end up hand-me-downs to George. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, no dark thoughts. Not when I'm about to dig me a grave. Hehe. <laughs> now we okay. gotta get the rabbit. It's in this box, I'm guessing. Oh boy. Now, let's get going. I'll make sure you rest in peace. I got the rabbit corpse. <laughs> nice. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. Very good. And it's dark out, but the weather's great. I know I can make a great grave tonight. Time to hurry to the graveyard. Imagine if Albert, like, came, did the whole cliche of, Oh, we are alone. I am going mm. to kill you. Mm, maybe. You know, I really love the graveyard at night. It's just... I just feel so motivated all of a sudden. He's a happy boy. Like this time, this graveyard is all mine. Huh. Oh, I know. I'll pick some flowers. Yeah. A brown rabbit, so yellow flower yellow flowers would match perfectly. Okay. <sighs> Alright, let's get picking. Okay, um yellow. Ah, there's some yellow flowers. Yes, a yellow. A grave that I've thought up. All for this little rabbit. <laughs> I got okay. yellow flowers. Okay, we're ready. Ah, I think I should get some more yellow flowers. Okay, never mind. We're not ready. Um, I didn't see any more in this area. Wait. Those are blue. Those are red. I guess we're gonna have to go over to the shed area. Let's see. Is this gonna lead us up to the top? Yeah, there's some. Um... There we go. Yellow. Ah, there's a boar. Yay. I'm the one who'll make her a grave. I won't let anyone help. Well, that's kind of selfish. 
Yeah. Okay, are we ready now? We just need a few more. <laughs> We're not ready yet. We There's gotta so go many. right are up to that ready? grave. Hmm. No, I can make a grave better than any of my brothers. All right. Okay, that's all the flowers. This should be enough. Off to the graveyard in the back. The other way? This way? In the back. Maybe it's a pet graveyard and the other one's a human graveyard. It's just pet pitch graveyard? black forest back here. Then why was it white? I but know. I know the way. Do you? If you're pitch black. <laughs> you just <laughs> move through the trees like white? this. <laughs> Oh my god, Karen, you can't just ask me graveyards why they're white. <laughs> this is moon. Oh god, I'm getting Stephen King flashbacks. I'm getting Stephen King flashbacks. Beautiful place, isn't it? I love it here. Wait, I'm breaking the fourth wall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is where I'll That's make a perfect grave. Nice. Not going to say anything. Oh, I'm talking to the rabbit. Oh. I wish I could have... I wish I could have said that to you before you died. There, there. I'll make it... I'll make you a place where you can rest in peace. Yeah. There are the... There are yellow flowers over there. That's where I'll bury you. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. All right. I'll make your grave. Me and no one else. See, I love animals. This place I love. The gravekeeper's tools I love. You will stop being mine. Mm -hmm. But the family's pets, it won't end up hand me downs. Mm. They'll belong to all of us, and none of us. Oh no, am I gonna get stuck? Yeah. But, yet? Gotta dig a deep hole. This moment is different. When I'm making the grave of a pet that's died, then and only... Then and only then. Only then, I think... Yes, this is mine. I don't know if you noticed, but the ghost was the next to him. I didn't see. Yeah, I didn't was see either. Level. In the end, I've got to make the, I've got to make the grave to bury the pet I loved. Mm. So, her last moments, her grave too. It's all mine. Uh, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Who is this? Oh, the ghost. Oh, you want to be the ghost? Yeah. All right. Uh, huh? Okay. Huh? Oh. Whoa! Hmm? Who are you? That ghost girl? Hmm? Uh... Ghost? Where? Where? That's three sixties. Meow. Uh, speed. Hey. <laughs> I'm talking about you, you know. Me? Yes. <laughs> Girl. Girl. <laughs> 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 Mr. Amazing's probably gonna run away. Uh. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm not a ghost. But you showed up out of nowhere in a graveyard at night. That's ghostly. Oh, that's true. So did you. I. I guess it is. Sorry for scaring you, but... 
I thought you were the ghost. He does look a little creepy. Why? Well, what's that thing you're wearing? It looks like something from Halloween. Hmm. You know, that pumpkin thing? <laughs> oh my god, I do it. I thought it was a pumpkin too. Well, it isn't. It's like a cloth. Yeah. Mr. Amazing? It's like a cloth hood. Mm -hmm. Mr. Amazing keeps dropping call. There you go. Yes, for uh, Discord. Okay. This is my family's. A gravekeeper's tradition. Okay. Gravekeeper? That's right. My family takes care of graves. Oh, wow. Hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, sorry for laughing. It's so round and cute. I couldn't help it. Mm. <laughs> oh, no. Mr. Amazing. Mr. Amazing is having Discord issues. Or internet yeah. issues, maybe. I guess I'll I'll do it her What a weird girl. Her clothes are all messed up and she isn't even wearing shoes. But her laugh, it's just so beautiful. Welcome back. <laughs> and he's going again. And he's back again. And he's <laughs> going again. And he's back again. Nice. And he's going again. Heck. <laughs> and he's back again. Put it off for long! There Five. we go. Uh, hey. Jesus, come on. Work with me. Work. <laughs> hey, I won't get in your way. So, can I watch you dig the grave? It's not even loading. Oh. No. Oh, no. Huh? Well... Wait, it's really late. Why don't you have to go home? Hmm. It's okay. I don't have anywhere to go home to. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> so, is it okay? Is it okay? <laughs> is it? Is it? Is it? Is it okay? If you keep it a secret. Alright. If you keep quiet about me making graves here, then... And sure, as long as you just watch. Really? Don't worry, I'll keep it a secret. <laughs> Thanks. Mm -hmm. Laughing boy. You better. <laughs> I'm just swimming in the grave. <laughs> mm. <laughs> This is wholesome. Ooh! There we go. Wow! It came out so well! This gave us for a cute little rabbit who always perked up her little ears when she was happy. Oh, <laughs> a cute little rabbit who always perked up her little ears? I really ears? hope she likes the gravestone I gave for her. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Don't we don't have it in there. <laughs> no. You must have taken great care of her. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I just know she's happy. <laughs> mm. Not anymore. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 
You... you think so? Yeah, I know so. I think it's a great grave where she can rest in peace. <laughs> Here comes the sun. Oh crap, it's morning. <laughs> Stayed up way too it's late. Almost morning. Huh? Mm. Well, I'll get going. Okay, Cinderella. Wait, what's your name? Where do you live? Girl. <laughs> <laughs> what's your phone number? Mm. That's a secret. Oh. Girl. <laughs> Girl. But I'll be back when it's night again. Like a vampire. Oh, well, you... Oh, I swear to God. <laughs> Next time we meet, I want to see you make a grave again. Oh. Translation, I hope someone dies. <laughs> s s see you later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here at night all the time, okay? My name's Eddie. <laughs> See you again, Eddie. I'm in love. She's <laughs> gone. She just disappeared when the sun came up. Very ghostly. That girl really is like a ghost. A g g g ghost. For a ghost, those cuts and bruises sure looked new. Oh no! Mm. It's huh? weird. Barefoot with tattered clothes. It is weird. But she laughed a lot, which was a pretty voice. Mm. What a strange, cute girl. Mm. I I hope I can see her again. <laughs> can you feel the yeah. love to <laughs> I've gotta go back home before people wake up. Before people, people wake up, not my, my people. My family. <laughs> oh yeah. People in people. General. Uh, <laughs> just the people of the world in general. <laughs> it's always five PM <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> True. Ah, uh, what progress we made together. <laughs> well, this is an area we didn't see before. No, it's not. Hmm. What yeah. a strange boy that was. It's, it's new. I've got to get back before anyone at home wakes up. Like a normal thing that people would say when they're out late, but instead of just people. I am girl. <laughs> Oh, David, you're playing as them now. Yeah. Hey! Is this your house? I don't know. I guess. Yeah. Unless we're invading home. Phil, looks like he's not awake. Hmm? Huh? Just go quietly upstairs. Just don't make a sound. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh. Well, he stomps out with a mighty rage. He made a scream, uh, too. Uh, um, it's not what you think. I was just going to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, oh, you little bitch. I'm gonna turn up the volume a little bit on the game. Oh, wow. Now you want to turn up the volume. Okay, David. He scream. Oh, he's, he is, this is a lot of, uh, violent noises that you can't hear. Oh. Yes, sir, I will. A lot of kids getting beat up in this game. It hurts. <laughs> I to leave this room. All I did was go outside a little, so why? You know, the cuts and bruises. Why did... It's like I... Like I don't even exist. I'll go, 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 go. That boy. 
He said, see you again. He did. Jesus. He did say see you again. He did. I I want to see him again. When can I see you again? Oh, she started showing up at the graveyard at night. And I started going to the graveyard at night more and more myself. Was there for the graves, of course. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. But I started to want to see that strange girl too. Oh, am I wearing something different? Am I wearing like, a cloth? What? What the heck? She booped you. Uh -huh. You got scared. I'm anger. <laughs> Every time we met, we talked a lot. I just talk about my gravestones and the graveyard in general, and yet she'd always laugh with that beautiful voice. I always enjoyed it. Enjoyed? Oh, don't okay. you mean enjoy? I don't know. Please tell me you mean just enjoy. Unless this is a past tent. Oh god, this is... Look, we're dancing! We're dancing! Mm. I wanted to treasure the time I had with her. <laughs> one gets beat up in the morning, one gets beat up at night. <laughs> <laughs> because... <laughs> because, being with... because being with her was just as wonderful as making my pet graves. When did they sleep? I don't know. Even if it was bad things to happen, I was fine with it all. He's a big fan. Hey, the family is out together. Yeah, goodbye, Albert. Okay, so Sweet, Carl's, we don't need Carl's you. in purple. And then yeah, Carl's the purple one. Kevin is in the other color. George. George. So there's Eddie, Carl, George, Albert. Yep. You stop hitting me. Why green. you hitting yourself? Why you hitting yourself? No, no. Oh, I am stomping angrily. <laughs> the hand me downs, the family, Albert. Get, I grit my teeth through it all. There was nothing I could do. It all it hurt a little. It all hurt a little. Damn it! It was funny. <laughs> Welcome back. Give me a second. And nope. when it hurt, I saw her. My heart would fill with joy. Oh, and when it hurt, I yes. saw her. My heart would fill with joy. Because my time with her felt like it was ours. And mm. ours would oh, yeah. Perfectly cut screen. Every time I saw her, I'd wonder something. I mean, I haven't told her everything about myself either, but... I just don't know a thing about her. How can I, when she won't talk about herself at all? Hmm. I don't know, it's a mystery! <laughs> I wonder, will she be there tonight? I hope I get to learn a bit about her today. She just won't tell me anything about herself. And 
Feels like she's getting a bit weaker every time. I wonder if she'll be there tonight. She will, right? I mean, we're always saying, see you again, so... So, yeah. Ah, yeah. we get to walk this time. Look at my stump. Let's go see if she's there. What was that there before those rocks? Oh yeah, there were. Okay, never mind. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> those. those rocks. I, it was just a small detail. Let's go. Let's go. All those rocks. Oh. Oh no! The plot thickens. What's wrong? Are Are you sleeping? Oh. Hey, you okay? Oh. Oh, you little! It was a prank, bro. <laughs> it's just a prank, bro. It's just a prank, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on! You really scared me. Sorry, sorry. I was just sleeping, really. But, but, your face is so pale. So. Eddie, you're really so nice. Huh? You, you always take care of your house and family. You make beautiful graves for your dear pets. You even come out here at night to tend the graves, right? And yet, you were worried about me just now, even though I was just sleeping. You... You take such good care of so much. Yeah. See, Eddie? You're really nice. <laughs> what anyone else would do. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you say you tell people that you're happy in Animal Crossing. You spin yes. around in circles. But <laughs> your face is super pale. And those cuts, those bruises, there's more of them. Really? Hmm. They're about the same. It's dark out here, so maybe it just looks like that. Hey, don't let anyone know, but I've got a really great place. Oh? Breeze there is great, so if you wanted, we could go there now. Sure. <laughs> I'd love to. Let's go. But where? We just go back up this way. In the back. In the back? Like over the stone. At your feet. Oh? Oh, we... This, this way? The back. Oh. Wait, you mean like here? I found oh, it. Oh! What? Okay. Secret. Secret! Whoa. What is this place? Are we in freaking space? <laughs> it's a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> this is a if really tall know... hill! <laughs> If we go further in, it's really beautiful. Oh my god. That's actually really cool. Yeah, I like it. So, what do you think? This is like when you terraform an Animal Crossing. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I like it. It's really beautiful here. Yeah. So beautiful, I just want to stay here forever. This character, I'm thinking things. Mm-hmm. 
David, I... Don't spoil it. I don't know a single thing about this guy. Hey, how about we talk here a little? <laughs> yeah. Talk? Y yeah, talk. Never talk about yourself, right? So, I was hoping that today I could learn about you. Don't do a flip. <laughs> I mean, if you don't want to, I, uh, just wanted to know your name, at least. Girl. Girl. Huh? Aw, oh, dang it. I'm getting rejected. <laughs> no? We're friends, so I wanted to know. It's not that. Hmm. I just don't have anything to say. What? See? Me, it's like I don't even exist. And if you don't exist, well, what can you talk about? Then, when you go home, where do you go? not a place I can call home. It's the place I have to always go back to. Hmm. What should I do? I don't even know. I'm sorry, Eddie. <laughs> hey, you sure you're not a ghost or something, right? Huh? Oh, no, no, um... I, um, I didn't mean it in a bad way, it just, uh, um. Uh. <laughs> hey, no need to laugh. You know... I might be better off as a ghost. Huh? W what do you mean? <laughs> C come on, don't laugh at me. Sorry, sorry. Uh, moon! <gasps> yes, we are in space! <laughs> <laughs> Strange girl. Slightly sad. Hmm. Oops, I'm hitting the wrong key. Before I knew it, she was all I could think about. <laughs> okay, but I didn't know a thing about her. Yeah? Except for one thing I could see. There were always new cuts and bruises on her damaged skin. And she was getting weaker every time I saw her. She looked that she might fade away at any moment. So sad. I want to make a grave for her. <laughs> I really couldn't help but feel like I knew what was going to happen. All too well. Bang, bang. Put her in the grave. <laughs> so many bang noises. I can't hear them. I know. Oh, Albert. Uh, oh, maybe. wait, no. Like she doesn't exist. Huh. Well, she exists to me. Maybe... She doesn't want to see it that way. Does she have no one to belong to? Is that why she feels like that? But if so... She's nobody and has no one. Why is she beat up all the time? 
Good morning. morning. I've got to hurry home. If they find out I go out at night, I can't make pet graves anymore or see her. Uh. <laughs> oh. Why are all the lights on in the house? Wait. Is someone awake already? Hmm. Gotta go quietly put my mask away and sneak back into my room. Okay. How am I gonna do that quietly with my stip stomps? <laughs> there we go. Now I just need to get back to my room and pretend to be asleep. Alright. Oh. oh, Dad! <laughs> oh. Oh no, did someone wake up? Hide. Uh, I'm sorry to do this so early, but your mother's worried about you. Not. Oh. Yes, no, Mom? Mom? It's okay. Let me just ease to it's her up. You haven't been feeling well lately, right? I'm so worried, wondering what you might be going through. Words are bad. You know how your father just keeps saying it'll be okay, like he's not even thinking about you. So I had to wonder that if that was worrying you, making mm. you feel anxious, Is the pressure of being the eldest a little bit too much for you? Mm. I know your father praises your brothers more, but you don't need to worry about that. It's fine. You don't have to let it consume you. You have a good head on your shoulders. You have all sorts of talents. If push comes to shove, you can just forget about family tradition. Because your talents may be better off at work at something else. So listen. Stop moping. If you try harder, I know life will get better. Oh. <gasps> bitch. You bitch. <sighs> Shut up. Albert, you... When did you become a boy who'd say that to his own mother? I'm saying this for your sake! What is wrong with telling you that there might be another way? So you'll be fine because you're the oldest son. The eldest is the big brother. Have a little more confidence. You can be the kind person your brothers are jealous of. No, you know, I'm sure they're already all jealous of you. You're such a fine eldest son. All you have to do is be normal, and that's it! No, that's not good. So think of how they'd feel if you lose it like this. Especially Eddie. Think about him. He loves the graveyard more than anyone, and yet... You understand, right? So come on. All you need to do is pull it together to act normal. So, just stop all this. Go back to the real you. Ah! Uh, shut up, shut up! Hey. You? Well, think about how Eddie feels. He doesn't have any pain in his life. He doesn't know. You beat him. <laughs> None of you will shut up. You, him, everyone, all of you just mock me. Everyone talk. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Hey! <laughs> do you have any idea how early it is? What are you I'm yelling about? I'm falling into the river in Lego City, hey! <laughs> Albert, go back to sleep. You're helping in the graveyard today, understand? Albert! Why? Why would you send him off like that? <laughs> Stop spoiling the boy. 
You keep treating him like that and he'll never take over the business right. A gravekeeper has to their gravestone with love and care. You need to treasure what you're given and protect it. That's our core value. And yet, just look at how he's been acting. We need to teach him more harshly about what being a gravekeeper is all about. He doesn't have the capacity for that now! We need to give him some confidence first! But you spoiling him won't help. It'll work out as long as we're strict. The eldest of our family has always taken over the business. He can get through this too. But... Good grief. If we're keeping this up, we're doing it outside. Inside. Inside. Outside. Inside what? out. I don't know. Mom's pretty stupid. Fuck you! When did you become that kind of boy? It's so dumb. Uh. If Albert like that, he's not coming back. Okay. That's an idiot too. Hey. Yeah, you did give me my gloves! <laughs> <laughs> Albert probably can't pull it off the grave keeping dad wants him to. I mean, I'm the one who, who fits the bill. What about Carl? Who fits that bill, right? Carl's lazy. Uh, Carl's lazy. Then why? Why is this all revolving around Albert? And they won't worry about me. How about for poor Eddie? Is if Albert gets crazy? Yes. It doesn't matter if Albert loses it or not. It's all the same. Mm. I love being a gravekeeper. And I love making graves. But as long as Albert's around, I'll never get to take over the family. I'm gonna kill him! Mm. I mean... Put him in the grave! Maybe. It just doesn't matter how much I treasure or care for anything here. Because in the end, none of it will be mine. Hmm. I hate getting beat up. The fact, it just hurts so much more. Ugh. You know, I really, really just want to make someone's grave right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's not only oh yeah, it's only only the moment that be they become my treasures. Yeah. And whenever I see her, I'm just so so happy. And he is so cute, and I love him so much. <laughs> <laughs> After that day. Albert threw a few fits every night. <laughs> he seemed to hate me a lot more than that before, too. So his violence towards me, a secret to the rest of the family, became much, much worse. Ouch. Boom. He is beating you up stop Eddie. stop being a... Stop stopping on me! Pain. Physical and mental. My suffering continued. But... I was worse than the beatings. It was how much harder it got to leave my the house at night. Oh no! Huh. She said, see you again. And I... I wanted to see her again. Because the time we promised to each other. It was like a treasure. Loaning on only to the two of us. Oh. Noises. I guess he's just punching the walls. Albert's really gonna get any better, is he? Oh. 
want to finally go to the graveyard tonight. I haven't seen her in so long. I wonder if she's there. I feel really bad for making her wait so long. Yeah, but your brother's clearly up. Quiet down. He go to sleep. I, I can leave now, right? I guess. Now then. What was that sound? What was the sound, David? I don't know. It was like ding. It came from <laughs> downstairs. Albert. I knew it. It has to be him. Going eat. The heads are scared. They're going to get. To, they're going to get sick from the stress. Oh. But then, well, if they die, I can bury them. But. Mm. Being sick just because of Albert. Ominous music. That's that's not a part of our deal. Mm. Don't want that. That's why I can't let... That's why I let him hit me all this time. Yeah. I'm going downstairs. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Wait, I... the owl's still up there. <laughs> owl. Owl says, who? Still scared, huh? This is... This, they've been scared for, like, days now. <laughs> Bird, oh, yeah, there he the is. little bird. Oh, oh, you little shit. Stop it, Albert. What are you doing to the family's bird? Uh, I'm s No, not now. No. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> not now, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this is perfect timing. That was a bad time, too. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Okay, what happened? Did, uh, did, did, what happened? This is your line. Come on, quit it! If you're just gonna hit anyone, just hit me! Please, I'm begging you! Just stop! Pets aren't only yours, Albert! You can't just do whatever you want to them! Come on, leave her alone! Ooh. Ugh. Don't shut up. It's just like you all. She keeps talking bad about me. Shut up. Shut your beak! Shut up, shut up, shut your stupid beak. Albert's not right in the head. Quit it! Leave her alone! If you keep hitting the cage, she'll... She'll die! <gasps> oh, you little fuck. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Uh, I don't know who that is. It's Sorry, dad. It has to be dad, David. What are you doing? Calm down, boy. Get your ass over here. Ah, uh, Albert. Why? Why would you? My head. <laughs> Eddie, get back to your room now. Oh, but Dad. I can't see. I'm this. just a scared little yeah. boy. Poor bird. Oh, no, the bird! I... No. I should at least make her a grave. I should drink some water. What, right now? <laughs> Poor little thing. She's been beat up. Her neck's broken. 
Oh, he literally killed. Oh. Yeah, he killed it. It's awful. Just awful. Yeah, I thought because he hit the cage, she just got overly stressed and yeah. Bird's corpse. Ah, oh, I got an excuse to go to the graveyard. I must bury. Finally, <laughs> when a pet dies, it feels sad. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Welcome back. Uh, yep. In fact, I look forward to it. But tonight. I've got to bury her, quickly. And then, just like always. Yep. <laughs> I think when we reach the next God. safe point, we'll end the stream. Mm. It's been going on a couple hours. This is weird. I can't just... I just can't. Here I am. In the graveyard, but I just can't feel excited. Well, I, I should hurry up and make the grave, then I'll feel it. Yay! <laughs> Graves. <laughs> Grave making. Yeah. Grave time. I wonder it's if my grave friend... making time. My uh, friend's not here. She's not here. Hey, sorry. I'm really out of sorts. Uh huh. I told. I forgot to pick you your flowers. But it's late tonight, and there's not much time, so. I'll bury you first. Shouldn't I pick flowers? No, you didn't. Maybe. I tried my best in making her a grave. Poor bird. I was delighted, like always. Diligent. Diligent, like always. And yet... He's not happy. This grave is for... The bird that Albert ended... Oh, the bellbird that... The bird that Albert up and killed on his own. He did. Not mine. For its last moments. They're not mine. Oh? Not when she was killed by Albert. They were stolen from me. Oh, you cry. Her last moments they were going to be mine and mine alone. I'm sorry, I, I wanted to bury you as my own. I know you would have been happier that way, too. But... It can't be. That can't happen. You're not... Mine. You're not even the family's. Huh. What? What? Or... Or his. Taken away so... So horribly. So hideous. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. The last moments, they weren't peaceful. You cry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm kinda tired. Eddie? Oh. 
It's your friend. <gasps> it's the girl! That voice. What's wrong? Uh, well... Are you crying? No. Oh. So you were digging a grave? Yeah. Eddie, you always have so much fun when you make graves. Such a gentle touch. So what's wrong today? Are you sad? When I'm making graves, it always felt like I was bearing treasure, you know? This bird, she, she was murdered. This ball was by my brother who did it. Didn't care about her. Do you mean you won't make this grave then? No, I will. Because... I do just love making graves. I'm proud of my work as a gravekeeper. Prouder than anyone else. Oh. Hey, mind if I watch? I wouldn't mind you here. But try not to look at my face too much, okay? Hmm. Sure. Sad boy. It's done. You finished the grave? Yeah. But... It's a nice little bird grave. I'm sorry. Because no matter how beautiful I make this gravestone, I can't help but think it's not beautiful, not lovable. It just makes me feel like I want to apologize. Isn't that awful? A little bit. Cheer up, Eddie. This gravestone is really beautiful. Like, you made it just as lovingly as you always do. After being put into a grave like such a treasure, I'm sure that she... she has to be happy. <laughs> Enough to... Mm -hmm. make me jealous. Uh, what? Stop that! I hear... Oh, wait, I don't want... I don't want... I... I don't want to hear that you think that she was happy! She's not even mine! I'm sick of Pamby Towns! Mm -hmm. Look at this! There's no way she was happy! Buried like this! Not this hideous! Obviously! Eddie? Yeah. You're just jealous of that? When you... Huh? You won't be mine either? When you... When you won't tell me anything about yourself? Of course you wouldn't. This is like you. You don't even exist, right? Oh. Uh oh. I'm sorry. Hey. Those bruises. didn't fall, right? Did someone do something to you? Mm. There's bird noises. Don't worry about it. And... I'm sorry, Eddie. I was really insensitive, huh? Mm. 
N not at all. I'm the one who... I'm sorry. It's alright. I mean, it was all true. But, Eddie? What I said a while ago, that was all true too. When I see the gentle care you take in making your graves, I really think the pets you bury in there are like treasures. I really have to see that. Because I probably can't become a treasure to anyone. That... that's not true! I might have been mean to you a minute ago. You have a really beautiful vi voice, and you're really fun and kind. Damn it, I... <laughs> Damn it. It got too much for him. He couldn't hit. He couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> oh boy. He's gone to go cry. <laughs> and, uh, uh, well, I, I really like it when I get to see you. So, so, um, well, uh... <laughs> Eddie, you really are a kind soul. You know, maybe everyone would be happiest if they became yours in the end. Mm -hmm. Heartbeat noises. Huh? Kidding, kidding. Y yeah, of course. Hey, Eddie? Hey, I want to know if I end up a ghost. Will you see? Still say see you again to me? Huh? I have to go now. What? <laughs> but why? It's earlier than normal. It's alright. I'm just feeling a little sick. So I'm going home. Didn't you just say you didn't have a home like a couple mm. of days ago? Hey, um, those bruises. Where did you get them? Why doesn't Eddie just follow her? Mm. Wouldn't you it's like, like to know, little boy? Eddie, yeah. see you again. Oh. S see you again. Come back sometime. Promise me. Everyone should become mine in the end. Huh? Mm. Bury them. Foreshadow. Put them in the grave. Yeah, Daddy. <laughs> um, I said something kind of weird today. It's kind of weird. I better hurry home. Everyone at home has started getting suspicious lately. Everyone. I've only seen the, the one, grave. the one mm. red man. There we go. She might die. My legs, my arms, they just hurt so much. I'm just so hungry that my stomach kind of hurts. If I get too weak to move, I, I can't see Eddie anymore. I'll just lie down when I get back. Okay. So oh, she's walking really slow. Okay. That took 
some time, but it's still dark, so I should be fine. Hey, there are some berries here. Huh. I wonder if I can eat them. Don't eat the mysterious berries that you- Take a tiny bit and have them. Good for you. I... I'd love to give some to Eddie if they're tasty. Uh... <gasps> bitch. It's the mysterious red man! Uh, um... what it looks like. I was just just a little hungry. I I I wasn't trying to mess up the flower guard. I'm really sorry. The noises. <laughs> no. Got quiet. <sighs> Every time. There we go. Not sure why, but I have a really bad feeling. I wonder if she's all right. I'll see her again, won't I? Don't know. Gotta get inside. Oh. What the heck, Albert? <laughs> you live here? <laughs> you live here? Oh. Albert, that... That was a horrible thing. That was horrible. What you did last night. Please. I'm begging you. Just don't... Don't hurt our pets again like that. Instead. Go. All right. Fine. Just, just leave them alone. Man. Since that night, she stopped visiting. That was the beginning of days I just couldn't endure. She stopped coming around. Oh. Ever since then, I felt like a true red man. He stopped going outside. He kept tormenting the pets. And when he did, I would take the abuse from for them. The bruises under my furrows grew, grew by the day. Yet, still, every day, I went to the graveyard. Graveyard time. That's... She never came back. And I waited so long. 
Yikes. Mm. I hated my brother so much. Yes. The pain made it, mm. it made, made it made it feel like I was the one going crazy. You are. <laughs> if I could just get a glimpse of her, spend some time with her. Just thinking about that kept me going. Kept me heading towards the graveyard. No matter how much it hurts, or how bad the weather. She just never appeared. And the next day, the day after, No matter how long I waited, she never showed up. Even though she said, see you again. Yeah. Well. But I didn't see her. And my brother kept robbing me of my days. When I was about to lose it in the depths of despair, I finally realized it wasn't that she wouldn't come. Mm hmm. That she won't come. She probably just can't. Yep. She must be the situation I am. That's a really good guess. No. She's just like that bird. No. Oh. should I have done? The bird, the girl, everyone, everything, what should I... What should I have done? My awful brother just steals everything from me. Everything I cared about. In such a hideous way. With no love. No kindness. Worst of all, the last moments were stolen from me. It's so awful. This hopelessness, this world filled with pain. What should I do? What do you do? Tell me, what should I do? Uh, oh. That's uh, Blair. You know, maybe everyone would be happiest if they became yours in the end. Put him at the grave. No. It's, it's that one. You? Kill them all, Eddie. <laughs> Kill them all. Dave not stinky. Oh, no. Gum camp stinky. For those I love. <laughs> would, would make them happy, right? There's the boy. Yeah. 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 Fourth are stolen from me. I'll make sure to do them right. <laughs> mm, creepy. With these hands. Creepy music. Back to their last moments. Oh, I know. Oh, creepy music. <laughs> I don't like it. Uh...
<laughs> All right. Say <laughs> we're going to end the stream there because we've oh, been what? going on for two hours. Okay. Invite me back. I'll do this again. Um, <laughs> you <yeah>. enjoy it. <laughs> did, uh, did you enjoy the game so far? It's cool. It's cool so far. It's yes. really neat. You should definitely check it out. It's called Angels of Death, uh, episode Eddie. It's a spin-off of Angels of Death, which is a really good game too, and Eddie's in that game. Yeah. It's not as much as you'd want him to be there. Yeah. Yeah. He's a minor character in the other game, but this game really shows off his like origins, I'm guessing. I'm really glad to learn more about him and I hope they make an anime adaption of this as well. They should. <laughs> That'd be really cool. Yeah. But yeah, we'll we'll continue this another day. Uh, hopefully we can get Mr. Amazing to come back and, and see the rest Just of the Just let me know ahead of time. Okie dokie! But thanks everyone for watching. We really appreciate it. And we will see you next time. Mm -hmm. Bye -bye. Thanks guys. Bye!